Welcome, 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 welcome to all things Flossy. Thank you family and thank you all for sticking with me. In today's video we'll be making this simple and delicious tomato stew. I use beef as my um, meat sauce but you can use whatever meat you would prefer. But before we start the video check your girl out and subscribe to her channel and I hope you share this video too. Thank you. So to start I cut my beef into chunks and I start blending my um, ingredients. So here I have some ginger, I have garlic, I have some cleaned um, cut out red bell peppers. Here's my onions and my habaneros and I also have my cleaned green onions. We will be using green onions as our onion sauce. So I have one big onion that was um, chopped. I'm adding one teaspoon of fennel seeds. I'll add another teaspoon of rosemary. And then I'll add my habaneros so this um, paste will be what I'll be using to season my beef So for my seasoning, I'll be using the no tomato seasoning. I'm using one teaspoon. And then I will add another teaspoon of my curry powder. I use the Gino curry powder. You can use um, the spice of your choice. And I have my nutmeg. So this nutmeg is about half a teaspoon full of it. And then I'll add some salt and I'll mix it all together. You know, I thought I'm adding my um, bay leaves just for some flavor. And like I was saying, I forgot to add my garlic and my ginger. So I'll be blending that and I'll add it to it. My garlic and my ginger together. So we'll cook this beef until it's tender and then we will fry. So once my beef is cooking, I will start blending my other ingredient. I will blend my ginger, my garlic, my um, habaneros together. And then I'll add my green onions to it as well. Green onions. Please try and use them in your food. It has very, very tasty um, flavor. Okay, don't tell me I didn't tell you. I did. I'll be blending my bell peppers as well. I'll blend everything that I need to blend whilst my beef is cooking. Now when everything is prepped and ready for me to cook, I have my sliced onions, I have my tomato paste, and I also have some tomato sauce. I have my blended um, red bell peppers and I have the mixture of the onions plus the habaneros, garlic and ginger. And then I'll be ready. So for this stew, I'm using canola oil. You can use your preference too. It doesn't have to be canola oil. Let's check on the beef. So. Um, I know my beef is ready, just feel it to see how tender it is, and then I'll get ready just to fry them. So since my oil is hot enough, I'll start frying my beef. Looking 
got to add this to my wife. Ooh. She got a show and she use it when she cook. Baby girl, you know what I do. I do. Market time waiting for the food. I know the mind, you can play me for a fool. I like to keep quiet, nobody say I'm cool. You got a spark, can you put me in the mood? I did love how you spice it up. We got a hit, so I light it up. She be too good, she know the flex at all. Obama Kwam, I'm feel it best. Look at this, this is his best. Baby girl, I know what you deserve. If it be exams, I know you chop first. She enter my heart. Well, now that my beef is brown enough, I'll take them out of the aisle. See how brown it is. So now I'll add my sliced onions and cook it for about three minutes. So the longer you fry your onions, that's when it releases its flavor. Onions have a lot of flavor. So now I'll add my onion paste and I'll cook it for some time until all the moisture runs out. So now you can really smell the sliced onions, you can smell the blended onions which has garlic, ginger and the green onions. Hmm, the smell is amazing, amazing! I'm adding my blended red bell peppers so I decided not to use fresh tomatoes these red peppers help with the taste of the tomatoes so you can decide to add it after adding your tomatoes or before this time I decided to add it before I'm just gonna cook it with the onions and then when it's all cooked up I'll add my tomato paste and my tomato um, my tomato sauce so the red bell peppers really help with the tartness of the tomatoes. I hope you try it. And remember to keep mixing it all so that the end of the pot doesn't burn. Okay? Now I'll be adding the stock from the beef, the broth. This is also going to add more flavor to my stew. Remember when we um, seasoned our beef, we had some fennel seeds, rosemary, I had some seasoning with it, I had some nutmeg. Yep, it's gonna add more flavor to our stew. You know, my mom always taught me to clean around my pot whenever I was cooking, so I hope you do that. Look at how red and beautiful our stew looks. It already tastes good. Here I'm adding my grated nutmeg. I love using nutmeg. Adds more flavor to your cooking, whatever. So now I'll be adding my curry powder. I really prefer the Gino curry powder because it's very tasty. I prefer that. Then I'll be adding um, my fish powder and shrimp powder together mixed with some um, pepper powdered pepper oh my goodness this is amazing my dear Sophie brought it from Ghana thank you Sophie then I'll mix it all together now the this the, the flavor is amazing Ooh, and I always add some kind of meat or beef to my stew base so I have some canned beef that is what I'm using you can use tuna fish sardine 
you can decide to omit it but I'm just used to adding something to my stew base. What do you think? Oh my goodness. I hope you really give this recipe a try. And I know you love it. And here I have all my um, my green bell pepper and my onions. You can decide to use these these vegetables or you can decide not to. You know, I know the little ones do not really like vegetables in their stew. Now there we have it, our beef stew is ready, it smells amazing, it looks delicious, I hope you give this recipe a try and tell me what you think. You know you can actually eat, um, eat this with rice, with some yam, with some um, kinke, with some bangkun, um, with some gari. Eba, you know, you can even take a little bit of the stew and use it as Gary photo. My goodness, you can do a lot of these, um, can do a lot of things with the stew. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Until our next um, video coming up, I hope you love God, I hope you love people, and I hope you stay graced up. Bye-bye! Look at this, this is his best. Yeah. Baby girl, I know what you deserve. <laughs> if it be exams, I know you chop first. She enter my heart through my stomach. Yeah. Through my woman. Yeah. I do want no problem with watching the pizza. In